Hey, it's Jeff Reynolds from High 99 WTHI. We're out at Deming Park talking about disc golf, and this is Alicia Kessner with the Terre Haute Parks Department. How's it going? It's going great. Another beautiful day out here at Deming Park. Yes, it is. Great day if you want to come out and disc golf. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We're standing on uh, T pad number one. The hole is right over there, and uh, this is one of uh, a place you can come out and check out disc golf, right? Yes, it is. It's um, a perfect place to come try it. Um, there's no cost to it, so you can just come out, go pick up a disc, um, and try it out for free and see if you like it. If you want to get into it, you can buy more discs and kind of work your way up. Yeah, disc prices, you know, they're pretty reasonable. You'll probably see a video of us talking with Paysetter Sports about that. But yeah, you come out here, you don't have to pay any greens fees or anything like that. You just come out here and have a good time. Yes. Yeah, you need, it, what I love about this course is I think it's great for beginners. I think it's great for experts. You know, it, you've got a couple wide open holes like this with just a few trees, and it's just a great place to come out and learn how to play if you want to. Yes, and you can pick and choose. If you don't want to play a hole, you think, oh, that's going to be too difficult for me. Just kind of work your way up and play a couple of the holes and see how you can do. I've done that a few times. Sometimes <laughs> I get frustrated with holes, and I think I'm not playing this one today. I'll try it again tomorrow. Yes. Hey, it's Jeff. We're at Deming Park and with Crossroads Disc Golf Club. You guys just wrapped up a good round. What'd you shoot today? Uh, I shot a 50 under or 50 total. Okay, not bad at all then. So, uh, enjoying another beautiful night out here at Deming Park, and you guys are getting set for a big tourney as well. Yep, in two weeks we're throwing on the uh, State Series finale. Uh, we call it the Mother of the Valley. So this is the Wabash Valley and. It's going to be a mother of a tournament. Appropriately a name. Uh, yep. Appropriately a name. So there you go. Yes, absolutely. All right. So uh, Crossroads Disc Golf Club, tell us a little bit about you guys, how you started, and when you guys meet, stuff like that. Uh, we meet here in uh, Terre Haute every Tuesday night. Uh, we play a singles round, uh, get together uh, with some new guys, try to teach them, and uh, just try to c compete and beat each other and have a little fun. Uh, we try to upkeep the course. Uh, try to uh, make sure that things were clean, uh, pick up trash. Uh, we help pitch in and raise funds to replace the baskets a couple of years ago. Um, so we're all about promoting the sport and promoting a healthy lifestyle. Try to get people out and walk around, get exercise, maybe lose a little pounds and have some fun out while you're doing it. That's what I love about it for me. It tricks me into exercising. Yeah. So, But yeah, you guys have done a great job with, uh, you know, those who play, you know, keeping the course up, you know, the maintenance of it. You've got a beautiful course out here with the Terre Haute Parks Department and Deming Park. I mean, just a great place to play. Yeah, we absolutely love it out here. It really showcases what uh, this area is all about. You know, the elevation changes, the mature trees. This is really the ideal place to play disc golf. It truly truly is. And I think it's great, you know, for me, I, I can still consider myself a novice. You know, I played for a couple of years, you know, played a little bit heavier on and off and whatnot. But, you know, I think whether you're starting out, I think whether you're an expert, this is a great course to come out here and just test it out. So if I'm interested in joining the uh, Crossroads Disc Golf Club, how do I go about it? You know, do I just come and show up at one of the meetings? You know, what, what happens? Uh, you can always show up on a Tuesday night here in, uh, in Terre Haute. Uh, we always have memberships available. Uh, you can always go to our website, crossroadsdiscgolfclub.com, and get information on who to contact. Uh, and we also meet every Thursday night in Brazil at 6 o'clock, and then every Monday night at Rockville Lake Park as well. Great options for you to come out, test out a couple different courses. Oh, now, yeah. always just uh, how can we contact you? You know, obviously, you guys are here at the course, you know, Tuesday nights like we are now, but say so you guys got the Facebook page, you know, how. What's the best way to, to get in contact with you guys? Um, if you're looking for somebody to play with, uh, get on Facebook and look us up at Crossroads Disc Golf Club. Uh, like I said, our, our website, crossroadsdiscgolfclub.com. Uh, we've also got an email address, crossroadsdiscgolfclub at gmail.com. Uh, since it's a small theme there. So. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, there you go. Uh, Crossroads Disc Golf Club. Now you. Uh, Hey, it's Jeff Reynolds from High 99 WTHI, chatting with Chad Newsom from Paysetter Sports. That's where we are, beautiful store inside, talking more about disc golfing. Now, if somebody comes in and they say, I want to get started in disc golfing, walk us through a little bit of the process. I mean, you've got tons of options here. Sure, yeah, if they want to start getting uh, used to disc golfing, what we'll do is we'll uh, pretty much what, what they yeah. need to do is have a, a, a disc uh, that, that will work pretty much for all the all the holes, um, a good place to start is a mid-range disc with mm -hmm. a lot of glide on it. Okay. So it floats, stays aloft a little bit longer. 
Um, if they want to go the option for all three discs, they can get a putter, a mid-range, or a driver. It, it just depends on how much they want to invest in it. So something but, that's going to be kind of open, you know, and generic for all skill levels. Sure, start, yeah, so. yeah. This gives them, it, it, it's less investment, but mm -hmm. it's still, it's going to uh, at least get, it, get them used to the sport and to see if they like it, if they want to. Well, yeah. you brought up a good point investment-wise. What, what are we looking at for an initial investment? I, you know, if, if I come in, I say, I don't want to spend too much. I just want to see if I'm going to like this sport. Sure, you're looking at the discs range pretty much around $10. So okay. it's not really that much at all. Not at so, all. So, yeah, it's just a drop in the bucket. Now, say once I get going, you know, I've got my first disc, and I'm wanting to put together, you know, a full bag, so to speak. You know, sure. I, I want to, obviously, I know what the putter does. That's going to yeah. be for, you know, the approach, the, the close-up, you know, the driver, kind of the same way. But, you know, then you go into the fairway drivers and, you know, the mid-ranges, you know. How do I uh, know which disc is going to be right for me as far as, you know, the direction it's going to travel, where it's going to land, and, you know, weather conditions, wind, everything else can play a lot of factors into it, too. Sure. Well, discs have manufacturing ratings that are, that are printed on every disc and they all pretty much a uh, um, they have different attributes um, some one of the numbers is for speed one is it for glide um, one is for turn and one is for fade and each each of those numbers will will describe how that disc is going to behave in different weather conditions so for instance some will hook a little bit right some will hook a little bit left mm -hmm. so we'll look at the numbers and if you're beginning I'd start with a good glide so it just kind of hovers there um, the speed is pretty much how, how fast the disc rotates and how it cuts into the wind. So they're all developed to do different things. It's just, you know, you have to kind of... Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you have any general questions about disc golfing, don't hesitate to ask the experts with Crossroads Disc Golf Club. Also, for all your disc golf needs, don't forget Pace Setter Sports, the place to find everything. Bags, disc even shoes. Pay Center Sports, South 3rd Street in Terre Haute, and also a big thanks to the Terre Haute Parks and Recreation Department and uh, having us out at Deming Park. Don't forget that is a gorgeous place to play and a great place for you to go check out disc golfing. Look for more videos coming soon to high99.com.